farewell, the emotional outpouring of support as rapper Little Scooter is laid to rest. Hello again, I'm Lynn Bowie, and here's what people are talking about today. Family and friends gather to say their final goodbyes to Baltimore rap star Little Scooter. WJZ is live from the Empowerment Temple in Northwest Baltimore. Rick Ritter tells us about the touching ceremony held for the rapper. And Rick, it was a packed house in there. Yeah, Lynn, exactly. Hundreds in attendance here at the Empowerment Temple. And as you can imagine, it's been such a sad morning. Lots of family members and friends crying as they remember 23 year old Tyrese Watson, AKA Little Scooter, the Baltimore rap star who was really on the cusp of making it even bigger before he was gunned down. Friday marks a somber day in Northwest Baltimore, with hundreds coming out to pay their respects to 23 year old Tyrese Watson, AKA Little Scooter. He was the star in the sky when everybody else just saw gray and clouds. Packing the Empowerment Temple with Watson's family, friends, and even fans who looked up to the Charm City native. He left a lot of people behind. And look, the, look at all the impact that he had on the city. It was things that I didn't even know that my cousin was doing. Nearly a week ago, Lil Scooter's murder rocked the entire city and sparked nationwide reaction. The 23-year-old was gunned down after leaving a peace rally. Police say someone in this green Nissan Quest minivan tracked the up-and-coming rap star to Moravian Hartford Road, walked up behind his car and shot him. There's not even nothing to say no more. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a big loss for, for such a big city. While his family is at a loss for words, Lil Scooter's music now lives on. I'm the only one that did it. I'm the only other city. With many still trying to wrap their head around this brazen killing. You really tore up the city when people was finally starting to have hope. The funeral is still going on right now. It's expected to wrap up within the next 30 minutes. The investigation into the killing is still ongoing as well. Police say they have received a record number of tips, but still no arrests. Reporting live this afternoon, I'm Rick Ritter. Lynn, back to you on TV Hill. Rick, thank you. Again, police ask for your help in the search for the gunman. They're asking you text them at 443-902-4824. Send them video or pictures that may shed light on the murder. It's the first time they've done this, citing strong social media interest in the case. You can, of course, remain anonymous.